the evidence you give in this hearing should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. I do. Pioneering Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor has died at age 93. O'Connor was an unwavering voice of moderate conservatism and the first woman to serve on the nation's highest court. The court says she died in Phoenix of complications related to advanced dementia and a respiratory illness. O'Connor graduated from law school in two years at a time when few women even attended. At that time, not one of the major law firms in California had ever hired a woman lawyer. And I finally got one job offer from a major law firm in Southern California, and it was as a legal secretary. O'Connor was nominated in 1981 by President Ronald Reagan. See, I made a commitment that one of my first appointments to the Supreme Court vacancy would be the most qualified woman that I could possibly find. So today, I'm pleased to announce that upon completion of all the necessary checks by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, I will send to the Senate the nomination of Judge Sandra Day O'Connor of Arizona Court of Appeals for confirmation as an Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. She is truly a person for all seasons. And was unanimously approved by the Senate, becoming the first woman to serve on the Supreme Court. This is a momentous day in my life and the life of my family. If I am confirmed in the United States Senate, I will do my best to serve the court and this nation in a manner that will bring credit to the president, to my family, and to all the people of this great nation. O'Connor balked at letting states outlaw most abortions, refusing in 1989 to join four other justices who were ready to reverse the landmark 1973 Roe v. Wade decision that said women have a constitutional right to abortion. In 2000, O'Connor was part of the 5-4 majority that effectively resolved the disputed 2000 presidential election in favor of Bush over Democrat Al Gore. O'Connor, who commentators once called the nation's most powerful woman, remained the court's only woman until 1993, when President Bill Clinton nominated Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The current court includes a record four women.